Hey everybody, so today I wanted to show you how you can fix your Windows 10 updates. A lot of times it will say that there are missing critical or security updates and you're not able to install them. You'll click on check for updates and it'll just bring the same message back up. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can fix that so that those messages will go away and you'll actually have all of your security and critical updates installed. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you exactly what steps to take in order to fix that. Okay, so I have created a file that I'm going to attempt to attach to the video description down below. And if it won't let me attach that file, I'm going to go ahead and include the contents of that file. And all you have to do is copy, paste it into Notepad, and then you can save it as anything you want, .bat. And then make sure you save it as all files. So I'll show you exactly what that is. So I put that one in my documents folder. And inside I called it fix windows updates. And again, that's a batch file. But if I go into it and I edit it, this is what that batch file looks like. And again, all I did is I copied and I pasted this into notepad. And then I went to file, save as, and I gave it a name, fix windows updates, dot bat, and then I changed it from a text document to all files, and then I click save. And if you'll notice, there's that same file right there. And this will go in, it'll stop these four services that are running that control the Windows updates. Then it'll rename the software distribution folder to software distribution.old. Then it'll rename the system32 cat root2 folder to cat root2.old. And then of course it'll go in and it'll start up the services again. And then it'll also do a Windows update check and then it'll exit out of the command prompt. Now, this should fix it for most people. Now, if this does not fix it, I have another way. But I'm gonna show you how you can run this one after you've created this batch file, all you have to do is just close Notepad, you go to where you saved it, you right click on it, and you just say run as administrator. And then if it prompts you, is it okay for this app to make changes to your device, you wanna go ahead and click on yes. And then if you'll notice, there's the command prompt, and it's just gonna run through, stop the services, change those two folders, start the services back up, and then attempt to check for Windows updates, and then it'll just close out. So in just a second, that'll be finished, and then I'm gonna show you the second way that we can go in there and fix your Windows updates if they're not working. Okay, so that's already finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close out of this, and it should check for Windows updates now. Now, if for some reason you go down here to the start and you go to settings and then you go back to your update and security and it still says that some missing important security and quality fixes are not installed and you click on check for updates and you get the same message again, what you probably want to do is you want to go back to your home and then you want to go to system and you want to click on about. Now, if you happen to be running a version that's older than 22H2, that's probably the problem. So if you'll notice, this one happens to be running 20H2. So we can easily fix this. What we can do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the internet. Now you can use any web browser you want, Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Opera, any web browser. You just pick whichever one you want. I'm going to use Edge just because it's here and available. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to duckduckgo.com and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to search for Windows 10 Update 
assistant download and I'm going to search for that. Now the very first result that comes up should be Windows 10 Update Assistant. So I'm going to click on that. And it shouldn't matter if it's DuckDuckGo, Yahoo, Bing, Google, whichever one you choose, it should be the very first one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Download the Update Assistant. And that's going to take me to another page. Now this is the page you want to be looking for. And you can also just search for Download Windows 10 if you would prefer. Because right here it says Windows 10 2022 Update version 22H2. And all we have to do is click Update Now and it's going to start downloading that file right here. Now all we have to do is we just go into our downloads we can just go and right click this and run it as administrator and then we can just click yes again if it asks do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device so go ahead and click yes and then it's going to come up and it's going to go ahead and it's going to want to start installing Windows 10 22H2 so let's give that just a moment to come up okay so here it's asking if I want to go ahead and update to the latest version of Windows 10. Well, I definitely do. So I'm going to go ahead and click Update Now. Now everything looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And here it goes. It's going to download it. And then it's going to prepare everything. And then it's going to install everything. And then it's going to restart. And this could take a while, depending on if you have a hard drive or a solid state drive how fast your processor is, how much RAM you have. All this could take a while, just depending on all those. So just start it, go off, do a couple of chores, do some errands, come back, and it should be installed for you. And then you should be able to go and check for those updates. So we're going to let this run, and then I'll come back in a little while, and we'll check on it, and we'll see if those other updates can install. Okay, so it took a while for me to get the 22H2 of Windows 10 installed, but I would highly recommend if you have a solid state drive that's available, I would definitely put it in the computer because it'll make it install so much quicker. So now I'm going to show you how if you go down here to the start button and you go back to the settings and we're going to go back to the update in security. Now, in a minute, it might tell me that I have some missing, oh no, it actually says that I'm good, but I'm gonna go ahead and check for updates because after installing that 22H2, there should be some updates that need to be installed. But that would fix those missing security and critical updates that are not installed on your Windows 10 computer. And if you already have 22H2 installed, that's fine. Just download the batch file that I put the link down below in the video description. And if for any reason I have trouble linking to that, I'll be glad to put the code into the video description. And all you have to do is copy, paste it in the notepad, and then when you save it, make sure you save it as a .bat file and you can give it any name you want to and then make sure you choose all files for the file type and then just click save and then wherever you save it just right click on it run it as administrator and then it'll clean it up so that you can go and you can check for the updates and it'll install all the updates for you so I hope that was helpful on how you can fix your Windows 10 updates and get them running if you're having it where it says missing updates and you might be missing out on some of those key updates to keep your computer secure. If you do have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. 
And if there's a video that you'd like for me to create for you, please let me know that down below in the comments as well. And I'll do my best to make that video for you. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I fix my Windows 10 updates when they won't install and it says that I'm missing key security updates. And I'll be glad to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, you all. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a great day. God bless you. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye.